GE's board reportedly won't claw back compensation from former CEO Jeff Immelt and other executives. This over the company's accounting issues or his use of a corporate backup jet. This after a three-year probe into allegations of misconduct at GE. The Wall Street Journal citing a letter from the law firm hired to run the process. And the letter says the investigation found no evidence to support shareholders' claims of fraud and abuse. Uh, yeah, the only abuse, Jim, is when you go back and you take a look at what's happened to the stock price over the long term. We talk a lot about Larry Culp. Things have gone fairly well under him. I mean, heck, I even read a story recently that they're going to come up with a new blade for windmills. It's bigger than one you've ever seen. Uh, but that doesn't take away from the 20-year history. Of course, buying high and selling low just doesn't work when you do it time and again for large, large assets. No, whether it be oil, uh, whether it be, by the way, the turbine accounting, we weren't that crazy about uh, long-term care policies. They turned out to be a suboptimal situation. Uh, but, David, Larry, Larry Cope wants to look forward, not look backward. And look how well he's doing. I think that that's one of the great stories here, which is that Culp is getting this thing turned around. And I know that we can do a Don Quixote about uh, these windmills, but they do matter. Yeah. And, and this company's in a position to do well. Uh, I never really liked that power division. Suddenly, I'm warming up to it. Uh, yes, they sold the growth uh, hospital business, uh, the, the uh, what it's called, the genomics business. But they kept the MRI business. Uh, the aircraft business, I think, is going to come back big. I think Culp's doing a great job. And I, I, look, I just want him to be able to think forward uh, and not have to worry about thinking backwards because that doesn't get him anywhere. I wonder what Tusa is thinking about. Oh, yeah. And does he have a new sweater? I don't know. I haven't heard from you him in a long time. Sweater for, yeah. 2021. Sartorially, he still lacks what I think is what I would call uh, pizzazz. Hmm. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.